Next, let's explore the text miner. Excel Miner text mining tool allows you to process and analyze your unstructured text data so you can quickly and fully utilize the power of this data to enable better decision making. Excel Miner's text mining feature analyzes a collection of text documents, extracts their meanings, and calculates any patterns or trends that might appear in the collection. For this example, we use the text files within the text mining files.zip archive file. Click on Help, Examples, choose Forecasting Data Mining Examples, scroll down and click on Text Mining Documents. You can click on OK to open this file. These documents were selected from a well-known text data set which consists of 20,000 messages collected from 20 different internet news groups. We selected about 1,200 of these messages that were posted to two interest groups, autos and electronics. On the Excel Miner ribbon, choose Sample, Sample from File Folder. In this dialog, click on Browse to navigate to the Autos subfolder. Set the file type to All Files, select all the files and click on Open. Now click on this button to move them to the right list box. Now let's repeat the same steps for the electronic subfolder and bring the files into the left list box. Click on Browse. Choose the electronic subfolder. Let's set the file type to all files. Select all of them and click on open. Click on this button to move them to selected files. Now let's select the radio button sample from selected file and enter 300 for the desired sample size. We can keep the rest of default settings. On the output, ensure that Right file path is selected. Then click OK. Now we have a worksheet XLM sample files. The selected file paths are now in random order. But we will need to categorize the authors and electronics files in order to be able to identify them later. To do this, we'll use Excel to sort the rows by the file path. Select column D, click on Home, Sort and Filter, Custom Sort, and click OK. The file paths should now be sorted between electronics and autos files. Now on the Excel Miner Platform tab, click on Text. Select TextWare and click on this button to move it to the selected text variables list box. Now click on next button or just click the pre-processing tab. On the pre-processing tab, we'll use default settings for stop words, stemming, and case normalization. Let's set the maximum vocabulary size to 300. Let's change the term filtering percentages to 3 and 97. Let's click on Next. On the Representation tab in the Term Document Matrix Scheme Group, click the radio button Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency or TF-IDF. Ensure that Perform latent semantic indexing is selected. Let's select maximum number of concepts and increment the counter to 20. This will tell Excel Miner to retain the top 20 of the most significant concepts. Now click on Next button. On the Output Options tab, let's keep Term document and concept document. Let's select term concept. Let's select all plots under concept extraction to produce various plots in the output. 
Under pre-processing summary, let's choose ZIPS plot. Let's select write text mining model to write the model to a worksheet. Now we can click on finish to run the text mining analysis. Our pop-up charts will appear and worksheets will be inserted to the right of the XLM sample files worksheet. Here is the document concepts scatter plot. This graph is a visual representation of the concept document matrix. Here is the zip plot. We see that our collection of documents obey the power law stated by zip. As we move from left to the right on the graph, the documents that contain the most frequently appearing terms drop quite steeply. Hover over each data point to see the detailed information about the term corresponding to this data point. This is the script plot. This plot gives a graphical representation of the contribution or importance of each concept. The largest drop or elbow in the plot appears between the first and second concepts. This suggests that the first top concept explains the leading topic in our collection of documents. Any remaining concepts have significantly reduced importance. Let's minimize the charts and review the TM Output Worksheet tab. Let's scroll down. The term count table shows that the original term count in the documents was reduced by 84.49% by removal of stop words, excluded terms, synonyms, phrase removal, and other specified pre-processing procedures. Click on TM Vocabulary tab next. Here you can view the final list of terms table. This table contains the top terms occurring in the document collection. The TM model worksheet can be used to process new documents using an existing text mining model. In this example, let's use the logistic regression classification method to create a classification model using the concept document matrix on the TMLSA CDM worksheet tab. This matrix includes the top 20 concepts extracted from the document collection across the top of the matrix and each document in the sample down the left. Each concept will now become a feature and each document will now become a record. First, we'll need to add a new column with the class that the document is currently assigned, electronics or autos. Since we sorted our documents at the beginning of the example, starting with autos, we can simply enter autos into column W for document IDs 101551 through 103103. 103. And then let's enter electronics for the rest of them. Let's name this column Y. And let's add A to this cell. Now let's partition this data. Select a cell within the data and click on Partition, Standard Partition. Select all the variables and click on this button to move all to the selected variables list box. Let's choose Specify Percentages and enter 80 for training set. Automatically, 20 will be entered for validation set. Click OK to partition the data. Now click on Classify, Logistic Regression, select all the variables except Y, which is our news group variable. Select Y as our output variable. Now click Finish to accept all defaults and run Logistic Regression. In the Logistic Regression Output Worksheet, you can use the Output Navigator. Let's scroll down. Here is the training data scoring summary report. 
Excel Miner used the training data set to train the logistic regression model to classify each record or document as an autos or electronics document. Afterward, Excel Miner tested the newly created logistic regression model on the records in the validation data set and assigned each record a classification. We can see that logistic regression can do a pretty good job of classifying these documents based on the text content. It has learned whether they belong to the autos group or the electronics group. So now it can classify new documents just looking at the text into either the autos group or electronics. We just saw how you can get productive results from text, importing a collection of documents for comprehensive text preprocessing, quantitation, and concept extraction in order to create a model that can be used to process new documents, all performed without any manual intervention.